Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry. We got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl that could keep you on the straight and narrow and tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. Stay my welcome. What are you doing? Uh, uh, nothing. Did you have a bad dream? Don't worry, you'll feel much better in the morning. And I promise to take you straight home. Uh, okay. <sighs> Please don't let her hear me again. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. If it isn't the new florist. I appreciate you helping the kids out today, thank you. 
They won't stop talking about the soldier who saved the day. Oh, and make sure to give my thanks to Aerith, too. Sure. since he heard about what happened. Uh, Where are you off to? Sector 7? Then you're going the wrong way. Oh. How am I gonna get her? He won't stop telling a story about that. I guess it's time you go over. I tried that new chocobo fabric softener. Might as well check out Walmart while I'm down here. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. <sighs> <laughs> Lead on then. With pleasure. <laughs> Something wrong? It's nothing. <sighs> you can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in. So there weren't a lot living there at the time, but... And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. Now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Want to see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Oh. So I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid.
It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. Don't overdo it. I'm coming! This one's for you! Get him! One more shot! Bundle up! Bring it! And catch! This one's for you! I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. <laughs> No holding back. Get ready. Get him. Best do it right. that a big arm kind of cute don't you think uh... <laughs> oh great someone's pulled up the ladder I wonder if we can use this. Idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. Hmm. 
stop. Did we wake it up? Here we go. at all because of all the monsters that kept showing up pretty dangerous place for kids to play raised in the slums remember you're tough hmm that's supposed to be a compliment Well, this is good. Just, just go with it!
Looks like a dead end. Guess I gotta. Taking a little break. break. Keep it up. I need a breather. Sure. However, I can help. You're still doing All okay, right. right? Buzz off. Yes. All right. That's that. And we're safe. I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? Yeah? Huh? Uh, uh, hmm. yeah. Oh no, look. Why is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. Okay, Cloud! Ready! a second. Gotcha!
loud! Over here! Not too fast, okay? Got it. Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Mm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit? Doing crimes? <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages. <laughs> Kevin, composite. I don't get it. Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's what you get when you, you know, when somebody else. We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. We were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. Uh, okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> due recompense, due recompense, due, due recompense? Uh, no shit, for brains, due recompense. It's like, uh, uh it's like, uh, 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 compensatory damages. Uh, uh, of course, I recompense. I can't Simple as that. <laughs> I think we've heard enough. Got this. 
taken over. So long. Okay, guys, whatever you do, don't move. Don't look! Just don't look! I'm dead. I'm super dead. Ugh! <laughs> 